I was a music major in college. I became an opera singer. Is there one woman, like a one woman? Right. Let me demonstrate a little bit of my pole dancing, and she does that. I think it more and more is dawning on me that. This is the event that people are waiting for, uh, you know, December 21st, the end of the Mayan calendar or the beginning of the new phase. They expect some dramatic event. I think the next four weeks is the dramatic event uh, that my show will provide. I think that's what people have been looking for. Well, yeah, it was great timing on your part. Yes, it was. It was intuitive and, you know, just it suddenly occurred to me to do it. But, of course, I probably, my larger self, the one who who created a lot of the 20th century in 1911, probably had this all ready to go, planted in myself. I'm activated like an MK Ultra victim, like a harp zombie for the intelligence agencies. I was just uh, noticing that there was another great story in the novel around page 260. Uh, that was one of the first stories Ion told me. Is he still alive today? Yes. And, you know, that he's kept himself out of the public eye, and nobody really knows what he looks like. But recently, uh, well, 10, 15 years ago, some journalists caught a picture of him. And everybody uh, in Eindem is, is, is amazed that he looks just like me. <laughs> oh, that's crazy! <laughs> yeah, so they, they think that I, I wrote the novel, sir. But see, that's, that, that could be the and pigeon was set up by, the, by my... Uh, I don't know what you call my other self that uh, set up a lot of stuff in night. Right, right, right. Like um, how JW goes to um, LA to set up the Fringe series. <laughs> yeah, most of the TV shows that people enjoy are, are involved by that the zombie JW. JW number seven, let's say, that goes to LA a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we just touched on a little bit for almost 40 years in the media. And most people consider me a charlatan, a hoax, a liar, one of the greatest liars. Well, like a true artist, I was picking up on what the population would be getting into pretty quickly. And once the digital world became available in the mid-90s, uh, people could acquire other identities and be invisible and, and uh, play with their chemical body image. I am probably the uh, prophet of that. Technically, I'm not, but most people don't even believe anything I say, so I am the prophet of the liars if, uh, if I'm perceived as a liar. <laughs> I mean, in, in, in 1992, when Dave Neufeld made that album of my stuff, which I had nothing, no involvement with the album, but they took um, excerpts from uh, my radio show in Toronto, I had moved to the United States, and so there were three images in the media. There was the version of me that was on that album called Bob's Medicology. Then, um, then there was a, another image based on um, Bob Marshall uh, on the radio show at uh, CK Land, another person. And then there was the, the image of me as a uh, creator of a book called Fatty Communion. And there might have been another one, I can't remember. There's three or four images of me in the media. I don't think anybody had ever had that. There was not, you know, not everybody knew who anybody was or if they used a fake name, who the real name was, they still are confused, and there's whole different stories about different aspects of those three images that started in 1992. Wow. I don't even know who you are. Does Carolyn know who you are? Yeah, she's seen me for many, uh, since the 40s, so she has a good idea, but she's always delighted at the new versions of me that show up. She can come on right now and give an example of, of my conversational novelty. Uh, you want to say what that? I always like to quote is um, some book, and it's... Um, That's Ben it's, Watson. It was Ben. So he interviewed the, the Bob Dobbs character, and then not knowing that Bob Dobbs was Bob Neverett, he interviewed Bob Neverett, and not knowing that uh, the two of them also had an association with Bob Marshall, he interviewed Bob Marshall. So he got words from all three Bobs in the same book, not knowing they were the same person. That always amazes me. I don't even know if Ben knows that. I mean, he quoted my, me, Bob Dobbs. He quoted Bob Marshall as an obscure interview Bob Marshall did about Zappa. Because Ben wrote probably the best biography on Frank Zappa. And then he quoted Bob Dean. So uh, Bob Marshall, Bob Dean, Bob... Uh, not Neverett and Bob Dobbs. Those three names are in the index, and 
Jerry Fialka knew me, and he pointed out to Ben that I was the three people, that it was one person that he was studying as three people. And when I met him in 2008 in England, yeah, he got a bit clearer image about me. But yeah, that's a good example right there, Sarah. Jeez, <laughs> it's got all these identities. <laughs> Beg your pardon? That, it's a good example for having all these identities. Yeah. Bob, you got to realize none of us really believe any of this, but we're ha- but it's so much fun. We have to we have to participate. <laughs> so, well, that's great. No problem. As long as you're having a good time. <laughs> <laughs>